uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be uh, looking at how basically we can read an access excel file which is basically a very important file inside your documents so the extension of this excel files are dot excel sx files here so i will be showing you how to display these files inside the browser using this dependency which is called as uh, read access read excel file this is the dependencies we will be using in this tutorial so it can also be used inside the browser as well and you can also use it inside your node.js application you can see this is 75,000 weekly downloads are there so now to build this application let me just start from scratch so here inside my projects directory i will make a new directory here read excel i will cd into this and then I will open this inside Visual Studio Code text editor. So basically, first of all, we need to initialize the package.json file, which will be the starting point for our Node.js application. So I have given all the source code guys in the description of this live stream. So I will write a complete step-by-step -step blog post. So definitely you need to go to the description of this live stream. To get all the source code so you just need to install this module guys like this npm i read access excel file so inside your package.json this is the dependency which will get listed here you will see that read excel excel file here and just create your uh, normal index.js file for our <coughs> project here so basically if you go to the documentation guys gives you this nice little example where you can basically read any sort of file the first example they have shown you how we you can simply do it and uh, this is basically for the browser site if you are building it inside your simple javascript we are not using node.js so if you are using node.js then you will need to require like this read excel file you will just declare read excel file and we just need to require this module which is read excel file dot slash node so you just need to re just require this dependency and after this basically you need to pass the path here so basically i can do is that we can simply download a sample excel file here so sample excel file we can download this on your machine so let me see I can take this example here so this is the excel file you can see that so we can simply cut this file here and paste it inside our directory so right here we can open this here and simply let me paste this file here so let me rename this file to input file here input excel file so this is the file which is there input.xls so we can simply provide the path here input.xls and after this guys we need to simply display its content so if you read the documentation here you will clearly see what it it basically returns a promise so dot then it will row, it return this rows variable guys so we can simply console log rows so what it will do guys basically this code here basically it has imported this library and then we are reading this file and now let me show you how basically we can do that if i say here node index.js so it is saying that invalid signature uh, let me see here okay i think it's uh, basically if you want to read from it you can create a readable stream here this is a second way i think if, if this way doesn't work you can uh, use this way here and this is basically require basically a file module here so you just need to require this file file module require it and then basically just need to provide the path of the file so input x ls so here you will console log the rows so read excel file
so it is saying that invalid signature I think the extension of the file is somewhat wrong here we need a sample excel file I think excel as file so yeah I think we need this file here so we can simply cut this and simply paste it here so th these are two different extensions guys it refers to the same excel file but these two different extensions so we can simply give the name here sample xls so now you can see that basically it is reading all the rows out there you can see that and uh, this is the first row second row this is second if you just open this file here if you let me open this file inside uh, Microsoft Excel here you will see that this is you can see that this is the file here so this is the image file you can see that guys this is the actual Excel file and now to display its content guys it's very simple we can easily display its content first of all hit the like button So basically we can display its content and the nice thing about this guys you can even use a let's suppose if you want to use it inside your you can just go to its example and they have shown you the complete example here how to use this thing here and you can even use this inside the browser itself so let's suppose there is a demo out there here so you can just have a, any file here so if you go to the projects directory and let me pick this file and you can see that basically it will show you the data here that we are printing out simply here in the browser itself you are printing it in the console here you can see that this is the data you can read your excel file data here you will see that you can pick any file here this is invalid so you need to pick only the xls file here extension this will read all the data which is present inside this file so basically this is the module guys so make sure that you use npmi read excel file you can also get it cdn as well so this is it cdn here and basically if you want to use it in a standalone html HT, uh, application just create a index.html and you can just paste this code here like this basically this is a script tag here you will see we are including its uh, CDN content delivery network for this library read excel file this is a min uh, min.js and here basically we will have a simple input file here where the user can select their file so inside the body we will have a simple input field here we have given the ID of input and here we are getting its reference here by the ID and attaching this change event handler so now we can display this information console log the rows so now if you open this in live server guys so what will happen here if you choose the file here go to inspect element so you can see that it converts this excel file to an array here you can display the information inside the array you can see that so basically you can display your excel you read a excel file from a url as well or local file as well let's suppose if you want to read it from a url so this file is hosted somewhere else 
you can basically use this uh, example which is yeah if this is hosted somewhere else basically we can use the fetch api for this here you need to simply paste the address from where the excel file is located so let me take an example here so sample excel file so you will see this is the excel file we are taking copy link address and simply we will paste this address let me take xls sorry xls example the extension needs to be xls so this is the we are first of all changing to blob here and then calling this function read excel file and this returns a promise so we can console log rows so now we just need to define this function read excel file this is the actual library function you can see so now if you just basically open with live server so what it will see in the console yeah yeah so this file needs to be your own file unless this course policy error will occur because this file needs to be your yours you cannot use third party files this course cross origin resource sharing error will occur so make sure that the excel file that you upload is on your own server and then you are calling it so this is basically the module guys hopefully you will like this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video